Still down by 38 points. The breeze still fairly strong here at Football Park towards the right of screen where Sturt are kicking. Stuart Tottenham number 10, Negri 44. His opposite number, Justin Salisbury. Now Schwarz kicks up towards centre half. Well, Taylor, magnificent mark. Oh, the mark of the day to Andrew Taylor. 45 metres out, soared into the air. One grab a sensational mark from Taylor, who's kicked four. He's had opportunities for more. But a goal here would certainly be the sealer. He's kicked four three. Puts it on its way. It has the power. It's drifting to the right. It's offline. It's a minor score. The margin is 39 points, but what a sensational mark from Taylor. Oh, one of the great spectacles of the game. The big mark, and uh, Andrew Taylor does it frequently. He's an exciting player to watch. He's also very aggressive, and uh, with 4-4 four, four to his credit, been a focal point today. Now, John Martin also worked his way into this game the further it's gone, and from half forward, will punch it back in for the Eagles. He'll look again for Neiman, dropping in, though, and uh, not quite completing the mark is James May. Morford in there. I think he might go for holding the ball. He doesn't. And a bounce down. Uh, James May receiving the appreciation uh, pat from Andrew Underwood and Football Park has remained fine today Scott Morford works his way through can't quite find the gap he was looking for and Andrew Geddes to Judd and the double blues holding firm and away they go now through Marcus Trimbolo up towards the centre wing position gets around Taylor centres the ball up towards centre half foot it's over the head of Leonard and Primke Oh, T. Schwartz lost possession of it. Rogers goes in to try and uh, redeem the, uh, the error. Primke's pushed from behind. Sturt working very hard at the bottom of the pack as Jay Viney in frustration as he broke clear, heard the whistle and could do no effective work. It was well done by Scott Sutherland. He ran straight on line. There was a much bigger body coming at him. Great credit to him now with Gray. Needed to get the reflex away. That man again in Sutherland. Around he goes on the left leg. He's looking up there for Damien Kitschke. The spoil is good from Spear. Wiedemann always runs straight on line. But in line with everything else this term, Sturt have lifted and their tackling is much better. Away goes the thump from Underwood. Again, Sutherland. He takes a knock or two through the game to Gray and a strong mark. Tremendous mark from Gray. A confident mark on the half-forward flank. Stood under it in one grab, a strong grab. And will line up the Southern goal from about 50 metres out. He's always had strong hands. Good overhead. Perhaps, if anything, his kicking has let him down in the past. Let's have a look at this one. From 50, sets it up. It comes back with the breeze right into the teeth of the goal square. Through uh, for one behind. So Sturt to 10-8. The Eagles are 15-16. We've played nearly 19 minutes. And I wonder, is there enough time, Nipper, for them to still get out of this? I wouldn't think so. I wouldn't think so from here. 19 minutes gone. 38-point mark. You take a huge effort. It's on the outer side. 32 is John Martin, received it and caught, slips the hand pass out wide, it's Kluzek on the run from centre wing, kicks up towards the lead of Taylor, he's in front, he's in front of Dent, what a duel they've had, it's Taylor with the mark, chips it away into the pocket, it's Neiman on the lead, good mark, David Neiman, he's missed from there only a short time ago, 35 metres out, he'll line up for goal number three. The Eagles have run both Ruckman on and off the ground until three-quarter time. Then injuries are forced. Neiman to full forward and Negri to remain in Ruck. And Neiman, 35 out, 45 degree angle. Kicks to goal and it's gone to the left-hand side. It's a minor score to open the margin to 39 points. 15-16 Eagles. Sturt at 10-8. And the double blues to their great credit have worked hard in this last quarter to try and give themselves a chance Jody R. Knowles had plenty of work to do he's a strong key position player but one senses that whilst it's not a new theory for them towards Sanderson that they really are lacking in key position strength Matthew Dent and Ben Judd have been used there Brett Leonard is by far and away the club's best ruckman and they've tried to use him at centre half forward in fact he's been there all day but you just sense that they're lacking a bit there they're missing Jamie Stevenson that's for sure one or two extra key position players might make the world of difference to that side as Tottenham puts it in now towards Shackie. 
paddling the ball, no purpose there. And finally, Baker. Been quite impressed with Baker as he dispatches it towards Judd. He'll go for holding the ball, he won't. The umpire couldn't see that it was dragged underneath the body. A fired up Wayne Wiedemann. He's played a strong game for the Eagles. He had a quiet third term, but he's bounced back strongly in the last. This is a fearsome player, that's for, no doubt about that, as Judd on the up to Baker. And he fires it in towards centre-half forward Guyer. If he's taken that, he hasn't. It's been stolen from him. Great determination, Kurt Roberts-Thompson. And way he goes towards the goal. It would be fitting if he could finish it off. It's offline and through for a behind. So the double blues. Well, that one would have been pretty handy. But it's a straight. And Sturt edge along now to 10-9. The Eagles are 15-17. The kick in comes to half-back. Zilla, high among the Eagles' best. He's opposite to Rover there in... Baker, Zilla chips it in towards centre half forward. Wiedemann in front of Leanett. Now brings it towards the uh, grandstand side, and it is over the line on the full, playing safety football. And unfortunately for him, he's out of play on the full. Now Sutherland centres the ball. The player there is Johnny Richter. I think that's, that uh, safety or saving aspect is uh, what the Eagles have gone into in this last term, and they've paid the price for it. Uh, Kitschke up high. Now it's Schwartz from deep in defence. Brings it to the member stand side again, looking for Negri. The big fella's underneath it. He'll be paid the mark. Salisbury, who's played a pretty useful game in ruck for Sturt. But Romy Negri's height has been a real problem all day. And it's between here and Neiman. They've really uh, dominated the rucking proceedings, despite, as you say, the... Uh, Pretty good effort from Salisbury now on centre wing. You thought it was a free kick, Nipper? Absolutely. I think Lawrence Shackey did too. He's been badly beaten all day, and uh, I think he thought that he should have been given that one for one of the few kicks that he would have had. So grandstand side, Salisbury. To James May, who's put in a headlock as he gets that one forward. And so too is uh, Scott Sutherland. He's a little go up. And uh, the bottom of the pack sign of a true rover stands and gives the ball back to the umpire i've been impressed with scott sutherland's performance this afternoon it's been an excellent performance one of uh, desperation and perseverance and plenty of run a young man who's come through the uh, junior grades takes a fearsome battering some games as the ball comes to grandstand side again i was saying before about the eagles paying the price it's certainly still in command of this game in a sense but you'd think a top three side, and the side that's being touted as premiership uh, material, would have really nailed this game in the last uh, half. They haven't really gone on with it, though, have they? No, they certainly have not. Here's Shackey. Morford comes back to Shackey. Now we go across ground looking for Martin. Takes the mark. He's got plenty of pace. So it's Geddes. He's running down. A brilliant tackle. Wonderful play from Andrew Geddes. You must admire the fight back by Sturt. They chip it forward towards the wing. They've got numbers out there. Sanderson, over it goes towards Trimbali. Sturt go forward again. A booming kick up towards the square. Has it got the legs? It has. Trimbali's goal from 65 metres out. It bounced through for his first goal. And the margin now 32 points in favour of the Eagles as we head towards time on of the final term. Well, hasn't he supplied plenty of run for the double blues from that wing position? He's a long kick of the ball. He was 15 metres at least inside the centre square. And that, as you say, David Christie, has carried a long, long way, at least 70 to 75 metres, I would think, with, with the, the run of the ball, with yes. the bounce. And it's a terrific goal for, for the double blues. It certainly has given heart to their supporters, perhaps for better things in the weeks to come. Yet to get a win on the board, I, I certainly wouldn't think they'd get up from here. We're into, well, 15 seconds from time on. And we've had... Six goals kicked in the final term, so perhaps only about uh, four or five minutes to go. 32 points the difference. I think we're being a bit optimistic, but we're certainly in some admiration of, uh, of a spirited last quarter by the Double Blues. Now the two young men who played so well today, Trimboli and Sutherland featuring again. Here's Trimboli. I love the way he plays. He feeds off to Roberts Thompson, another exciting youngster. This time he's caught by Rogers. He's a strong man, Andrew Rogers. Feeds off now towards Wiedemann. And the Eagles, well, they're just looking for siren time. They've slowed to a walk. Lena, centre wing, good strong mark. Plays very tall. He is tall in the first place. The 25-year-old, the centre field. 
And if you're not careful, Andrew Rudwood, you'll be caught. He still gets the kick away. And as far as Kluzek, paddles it away. The urgency's gone right out of this eagle side at the moment. Pack of players out of sight. The umpire will have a bounce down. Sturt are gaining in, in urgency, regardless of the fact that they're looking to defeat the squarely in the face. They're running this game out very, very strongly. And no doubt they'll be a much more confident unit going towards next week's game. A lot of the players we've called have been their young men, haven't they? Most certainly. And looking to impress and, uh, and forge something for themselves. The umpire finds a free kick midfield. They're playing in front, Stuart, and they're going in hard after the ball and consequently either getting the ball or getting the free kick. They're getting plenty of the ball, but uh, as we've called so often today, it's very indirect from them. It's been more direct in this last term, and again with Judd Guyer. Terrific mark to Tobias. And out towards centre wing and Lawrence Shackey. Shackey has a couple of free players, but over the mark, they're now covered, and it gives Brett Lena the chance to sit back. He's taking all the time in the world. I think he'd like to take the ball, go down the race and get out of this, because uh, the Eagles know that they've got it. A double blue still fighting, and Brett Lena looks much better in run. Gets the hand pass back towards Underwood from half back. Kicks towards the centre of the ground, Salisbury under it. Prinky has the better position. Goes with a hand pass to Martin, breaking clear on the wing is Kluzek. Will get there in front of Geddes, has plenty of pace, Geddes has more! Pulls Kluzek off the ball, Geddes, he's fighting this game out strongly. The tackling of Sturt in this last ten minutes has been intense. You'd think they were a point down. And another young man in James May, who gets to his feet. The Geddes tackle was good, the James May recovery was also good. And those young men, as we mentioned, uh, trying to just forge for themselves a career in this league football scene. And Geddes has been rewarded with a free kick for some determination. Away goes the fellow Crow member in Brendan Sanderson. Now that kick's going to be awkward to take. It's around the body, and John Martin does well to take it. Courage, Mark. In front of Salisbury. He's tall, but there's not much of him, John Martin. Had a good look at him in a talk before the game, and... Uh, very slightly built, isn't he? He's all skin and bone, but uh, he's certainly a fit man, as we mentioned earlier. Great credit to him to come back. Now Underwood, inside the centre square, sets it up towards the full forward zone. Spear gets back. Takes an easy mark on the last line of defence. And will push the Eagles forward and out of trouble temporarily. Three minutes of time on plate. The Eagles by 32 points. Out to half-back, Negri. He held it long enough. And the big fellow over to Rogers. They're running the ball across. Guyer's out wide. They've switched from one half back flank to the other. Guyer can't control it. Relies on Spear to come up from full back. Tries to get around. Ball dribbles clear, but Guyer's there to lend a hand. Now, Tobias is all unattended on his own to the centre wing. He hasn't got a player within the 30 metres of him. Could have another bounce, could make it four. Long hand pass to Morford. Siren sounds. The great Sturt fight back has come to an end. The Eagles have held on for a, eventually a comfortable victory by 32 points. The final score here at Football Park. The Eagles, 15 goals, 17 to 107, have defeated Sturt, 11 goals, 9, 75. Be watching the game here at Football Park on ABC Sport.